Hi, I'm here today to demonstrate putting together the Pegasus scroll saw stand. I was really excited when mine arrived. I couldn't wait to use it, but I needed a place to put the saw, so I decided to tackle the stand first. The first thing you do, you open the box and you take out all of the pieces and you lay them out according to size. All the same size pieces go together. Then you find your parts list and counting the pieces, you'll check them off on your part sheet so that hopefully when you're done, you have checks all the way down. And that includes the nuts and bolts. So then you're going to take the pieces and you're going to group them together by function. And you should have about three piles when you're done. So the leg is the first piece for me. And you'll notice that the leg has an angled top and just a plain 90 degree angle at the bottom. So you take the leg pieces and you put those together. So that would be these. And these are the leg extensions. The bottom is the flat side. Then you're going to the next part that you'll put together after the legs is the top shelf. So you get your top shelf pieces, those together, and then you get your bottom shelf pieces. You put those together, and then you're going to count out the nuts and bolts. So you don't want to watch me count nuts and bolts. So I'll be back with that in just a minute. So everything is arranged on the table now by function. This is all the pieces I need to put the legs together, which will be my first step, and the right number of nuts, bolts, and washers. These are the pieces I need to do the top shelf along with the nuts, bolts, and washers. And these are the pieces I need to do the bottom shelf along with the nuts, bolts, and washers. Okay, so all laid out. So now the first thing I'm going to do is to put the legs together with the leg extension. So you have to decide. Are you going to sit down when you scroll saw or will you be standing up? And the reason that's important is because of the height of your saw. I can't tell you what's right or what's wrong. It's strictly what makes you the happiest, what's the most comfortable. So I'll take one leg. This is the top. And what you want right now is the bottom. This is a 90 degree angle here and it's flat. You will take that and you'll take one leg extension. You'll line up the leg extension holes with the hole on the leg itself. These are carriage bolts and you'll notice that they have a square piece underneath the head of the bolt. That fits into the square hole and helps hold it in place. So you put one through, put a washer on, and you put a nut on. The bolts are always on the outside of the stand. So the nuts and washers are on the inside and you'll put two of these in on each leg and a washer and a nut. That's what your leg will look like. So after I do the next three, I'll be back with you. So the legs are put together and I am ready to bolt the top shelf onto the legs. So this is a good time for me to stop and make sure you understand that while you're doing this initially, just putting the pieces together, you want to just finger tighten the nuts, washers, and the bolts. Don't put a wrench on it yet because you want them to be a little bit loose. So I'm going to bolt short top shelf piece to the leg piece. So you're putting the bolt through the square hole, not the oval hole here. Put one on the washer and a nut, and then you do the other side through the top hole of the leg into the square hole on the shelf with the washer and the nut. And that's one assembly of the legs. Okay, I'll do the other one off camera and I'll be back in just a minute. So my two leg assemblies are done and this is what the top should look like. So the first step, is to take the top long shelf and we're going to bolt that to the outside of one leg assembly. And you kind of wiggle it to make sure you get it as far as you can, just finger tighten. Then you're going to take the other one, the top of this piece, by the way, the top of this piece has six oval holes in it. So you're bolting this to the outside of the leg through the square hole, a washer, and a nut. So the next part, this will be the top of your stand. So I'm going to flip this on its end like this. I'm going to make sure I don't let go of it. Take the other leg piece. If you have a friend, this is a good time for your friend to help you. It's going to go inside. So I'm going to take a nut and a bolt and a washer, put this on, and then I'm going to take the other nut, bolt, and washer and go through this one and bolt this one on. I'll wiggle it around again so you can make sure that you're getting it as tight as possible. So now I have all four legs bolted to the top shelf of the stand. The stand is upside down and the legs are a little wobbly out here. And while I'm trying to start on the second part, it's difficult. So, so now I'm ready to start on 
the bottom shelf. And it's difficult because the legs are spread and a little bit precarious out here. So this is not in the Pegasus directions, but I found that if I just take three whatever strips you have available and clamp them to the legs, doesn't have to be precise, then it will stay in place much easier, at least be more stable, and allow me to work on it more securely. So I'll put nuts, bolts, and washers for this part out. I'm going to take the short bottom shelf and I'm going to attach it. And remember, your stand is upside down, so the top of the shelf has no holes in it here. You need a hole, so you're going to put the bolt here through the stand through there. Don't wiggle too much because it'll fall out and bolt that securely. Now, I don't really need this clamp anymore. So I'm going to take put the next bolt through the hole, the washer, and the nut. Finger tighten. So I'm going to leave these two strapping pieces right here on the stand, and I'm going to flip the stand onto its side. And now I'm going to put this piece, a long side, onto the stand. So it will go from here, here, and I'm going to clamp one end that I'm not screwing in right now to about where it's going to end up. I think at this point I'll just take them off because they'll get in my way otherwise. Put a bolt through the top and then the washer and a nut. Finger tighten. So now I'll take this clamp off, the bolt through here, the washer and the nut. Okay, so I have a short side and a long side and I'll do the rest and be back with you in just a minute. So, all four shelf pieces are in on the stand now. All of the parts are here, except the leveling feet. If you want to use the leveling feet, this is a good time to do that. I'm going to turn the stand on its end again so that I can see all the nuts and bolts, make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be, and then I'll take a ratchet to it and tighten these up before I put it on the ground and bolt the saw to it. One last thought I haven't mentioned on this video yet is that I want my stand to be on wheels so I can move it, you know, where I want it. Some days on pretty days, I take it out on my deck and use my scroll saw. So wheels are really helpful for that. If you're going to use wheels, you want to put taller wheels in the back of the saw and short wheels in the front of the saw so that the saw will be slightly tilted towards you and that will decrease the strain on your neck. So. Okay, I'm gonna turn it right side up and then I'm gonna tighten these bolts down. There are 24 of them, I believe. So you might even count them and make sure you get all of them. Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. So now the stand is all put together. All of the nuts and bolts have been tightened. Happy sawing.